My name is Susan Hazel and I am an educator at Collingwood School in Vancouver, British Columbia. I co-lead this workshop with Ellie Griffin who was the Director of Health and Counseling Services at Milton Academy and the name of our workshop is Balancing Your Contrasting Role as Dean of Students. Those who will benefit most from this workshop are in the upper school. They will be deans of students and uh, they will have probably one or two years of experience. So it's for the inexperienced dean of students and that position may have a different name in some schools. It may be the director of student life, the director of students. It's for those individuals who work closely with students and discipline and parents and faculty in upper school schools, so that would be from grades 8 or 9 through to 12th grade. Well, the goals of this workshop are really uh, two or threefold. First of all, we want participants to go away with tools that will help them create a really safe, welcoming, and responsive environment for students. Um, that way students who are, we feel students who are happy, who are, feel welcome and feel listened to, are students who are going to succeed the most in their schools. Secondly, we really want the participants to come away with tools to build really strong relationships with not only students, but also with parents, because they work closely with parents, and with other teachers and with the support networks within their schools. So with counseling staff, health staff, so that they can really build a, a web of support for students. And finally, we really want them to come away with an understanding of adolescents today. What are their issues? Uh, what are the issues for schools around working with young people today? And give them the equipment to really serve the best interests of the students. Well, there are a number of takeaways that we hope participants will have um, from this workshop. First of all, we do a lot of case studies and a lot of role plays. So that gives participants a chance to really play out some of the scenarios and then take that back to their school so that they can be more proactive and less reactive when those situations possibly come up at their own schools. Uh, secondly, it gives them an opportunity to network with other professionals in their field so that again, when they're back at their schools, they can pick up the phone or send a quick email to fellow deans and say, hey, have you ever dealt with this issue? How do you deal with this particular scenario at your school? Do you have a policy on this that you could share with me? And finally, we really want to fill up their toolbox and give them the tools to deal with a lot of different scenarios and situations, things like discipline, how to have a really good discipline system, what, what constitutes a good discipline system, how do you deal with crisis management, who's on your team, um, how do you help students um, feel safe and feel comfortable because you're dealing with a wide variety of students. Um, how do you deal with things like bullying and what's your policy for bullying? Do you know your laws? Uh, in your state or federally. Um, those are the sorts of tools that will really help deans feel comfortable and confident and be the best that they can be for their school. What makes this workshop special is that we have, it's a small group, it's dedicated to upper school so that we're dealing with like-minded issues uh, for upper school students. We do a lot of role playing, so it allows participants a chance to practice things like how do you have a difficult conversation with a parent who's really angry about how you're handling a particular discipline situation? Or how do you deliver bad news? And so they can role play these scenarios and, and try them out, which is really quite unique. Um, we also do a ton of case studies so that they have an opportunity to sit together with other deans and problem solve, collaborate, uh, create solutions to a number of different scenarios, everything from a uh, drug situation at your school, um, an accident, dealing with a suicide, um, a difficult student in your classroom, um, how to get faculty on side. 
So those case studies um, really, case studies and the role plays really serve as a, as a base or a foundation um, for the rest of the workshop. It's also a chance for, in a small group like that, for these deans to really collaborate and uh, brainstorm together and come up with solutions, share policies that they can then take back to their schools.